Question 14. Write the following numbers in order of size. Start with the smallest number. I've got fractions, decimals, percentages, another fraction, and another decimal. Because I've got two decimals, and I think decimals are quite easy to compare, I'm going to change them all to decimals. So I'll just rewrite these two out first, 0 0.558. I'll convert this one into a decimal first, because I think it's the easiest. All I need to do is divide it by 100, because it's a percentage. So that would become 0 0.57. For these ones, I've got 7 over 12 and 6 over 11. I can just do this on my calculator. I type in 7 over 12, and you press the S to D button, and it will change it to a decimal. So this one is 0 0.5833. And for this one, 6 over 11 is 0 0.5455. Now we can start comparing them. I'm going to look at all of my units, and I can see all of them are zeros. So I can't use the units to compare them. Then I'll look at the tenths. All of them are fives, so I can't compare them either. I can now start comparing them. This is an eight. That's the smallest so far. This is a six. That's the smallest so far. That's a seven. So I ignore that. That's a four. So that's the smallest so far. And I keep that in my head. That's a five. So the smallest one would be this one. And I write six elevenths. I use the fraction that they gave me in the question. So six over 11. That's that one done. Then I can continue looking at my tenths. I do the same thing again. That's an eight. That's a six. That's the smallest so far. Seven and five. So the smallest from those is this one, 0 0.558. That's an eight, that's a six, that's a seven. So smallest out of those is this six, so 0 0.56. Then it's going to be this one with a seven and then this one with the eight, so 57%. And then seven over 12. You could check it, you could type them all into your calculator and just see, do they get larger as you go on?